<laughs> Guess who I have here today with me? It's been a good couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And so first we wanted to say thank you so very much for all of the love and support that you guys have shown since we made our announcement about the tour we are like so excited and just blown away by the way that you guys reached out to express your sentiments and excitement and um give us all the ideas on where to go and um, where we can stop by and say hello and we're taking all of those things into consideration. <laughs> I'm so excited to take my Falco kids around the world um, exploring and discovering as a family, uh, moving our studies outside of our homeschool room and into the world um, with you all. So thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You didn't do anything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so tell me about what we have been doing. Layers of the Rainforest. Still working through our unit study on the Amazon Rainforest. One of our main goals, I think now, is to finish up our project and then we are going to be writing persuasive pieces about uh, trying to inform others about the things that we've learned about the rainforest and the things that we can do to try to help protect it. So I thought it would be fun to have Cameron sit beside me and tell me a little bit about how he feels about homeschool. One issue that I've had is exploring the idea of if they ever want to go to school. So have you ever asked me if you could go to school? Have you ever been interested or curious about what school is like? Yeah, sometimes I am curious about what it's like to go to school. Going to class, having a locker. <laughs> you want a locker? I'll well, get you a locker, just, friend. I just want to know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times he just wants to know if he can go for a day. <laughs> So I wonder if you guys have had um, that experience yet where your kids have been curious about what it is like to go to school. Um, in the beginning of homeschool, it was a challenge for me because I felt like I ruined their whole lives. Uh, but then I learned how to respond to it. And what does mommy normally tell you? You just thought it would be better for us. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Fine. <laughs> He's like a matter of fact type of guy. You have to have like confidence about it and know that you've made the best decision for your babies and your family and so normally I reply and say something like you know what it really gives us an opportunity to be exactly who God made us to be and every family has a choice as to how they're going to educate their children and this is the choice that we've made and after I explain it they normally say well okay <laughs> He had the cutest conversation with his best friend. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? Tell me. We were talking about which college we would go to. <laughs> so they're already planning for college. But in the meantime, I get these next few years with my baby teaching and learning right beside you, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we have been working on our Amazon Rainforest project. And we get to watch Mark Williams while we're doing it. one of our favorite YouTubers lately because he travels all over the world and he tries different food and he he really loves food, right? Yeah. And what is one of our favorite things that he says in each video? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's like his vocabulary. It is. So while we've been working on our project, we've been watching his playlist where he has traveled through different places in Brazil. In Brazil, which is appropriate, right? Because we're studying the Amazon rainforest. Exactly. He eats these different fruits and stuff like, was it acai? 
Oh yeah, yeah. He went to this shop, which was famous for his uh, nine. T no, it was five kilo sandwich. That is a lot. And it had lettuce, chicken, burger, hot dog, tomatoes, cheese. It was like this big. So big. <laughs> 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 finished what? Well, we watched Scapes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that gets to happen in homeschool that you really enjoy, right? Mm -hmm. You enjoy when we read to you. He really likes when we read to him. So tell me, what is your favorite part about being homeschooled? That you're home. I like <laughs> being at home. You do like being at home? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really enjoy about um, being his teacher lately is that he's just got all of these ideas and so many ideas he's actually a lot like me and he has so many ideas that they all kind of run into one another and so I'm there to kind of help guide him and say okay let's start with this part or let's start with that part or let's make sure we finish up this part um, and help him organize his ideas and his little brain. <laughs> so uh, I feel really useful in, in helping him to learn how to use his gift and not get frustrated or overwhelmed by like the amount of ideas that he has. Because all day long he comes to me with all these new ideas and projects and plans and things like that. He wants duct tape all the time. <laughs> One of the things I really enjoy about Cameron is that he loves bringing all of his friends together, all of his private school, public school friends together. They just kind of all get together in their little club. My friend came over here the other day and he showed me his creative project he made. He had a portable charger and a tablet and he put them like inside a box and he hot glued it so he doesn't have to plug it into the wall oh it will just he doesn't have to charge it at all oh wow okay <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are over there really using your brains mm -hmm. and it's fun yeah that's good that's good and i really love cardboard he really loves cardboard. <laughs> Just continuing to work our way through our studies on the Amazon rainforest and all of our other things that we do in homeschool and life. Well, thanks for being in this interview with me. Welcome. In our another one of our Falco family films. You like these films? Mm, it was fun. It was fun. You're gonna have to tell them more. All these things you talk to me all day long about, about your editing and your films that you make and all that other stuff. You're gonna have to share all of that stuff with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool because I love seeing how their brains work and watching them work through projects together. I really like them. You do, buddy? Yep. Remember, life is full of lessons, so we live and we learn. <laughs> we practice that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in next week's video.